Welcome to the Ruckus Zone Planner Tutorial, hosted by Cellcoms. Part 1. Why use Ruckus Zone Planner? Zone Planner is Ruckus's tool that enables you to design and create a floor-by-floor -floor wireless coverage plan for internal and external networks using Ruckus devices. It will give a deep insight into how many APs will be needed for the wireless blanket coverage and client density planning. Part 2. Creating a new plan and importing your site plan images. Firstly, launch the Ruckus Zone Planner program. Then click File, then click New Project. In the top box, specify the project name and check that it will be saved into the correct project directory. Make sure Non-GPS Project is selected. Click Next. On the next window, import the 24-bit bitmap image of the floor plan and make sure the unit of measurement is in meters. Click Next. Select Restricted Closed Office when creating internal site plans. Click Next. Click Finish. An image of the floor plan will then appear in the planner section of the software. Part 3. Calibrating measurements. We now need to give the image a scale. This is achieved using the measure mode tool located in the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. When you select this option, a box will appear asking you if you want to recalibrate the dimensions. Click yes. Note how the cursor changes. Find a single door on the floor plan, then measure the distance in the door frame. In the box that appears, put a numeric value of one meter This will give you the worst case scenario. For the internal wall structure, select the correct wall type from the drop down window. Follow the same procedure for the internal wall structure ignoring windows and doors. Part 5. Setting up AP Profiles Select the AP Tool button located in the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. 
place the access point on the plan. Choose the selector tool located in the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. Right click on the AP and select properties. This is where we set up the AP profile. From the drop down box entitled antenna, select the correct AP antenna pattern for the profile you are creating. Make sure the box for 11N support is clicked if available and then click properties. On the next window, Choose the correct expected op mode. In this example, we are using mix and we are also using 40 MHz channels. Click OK. Now set the 2.4 GHz transmit power to 25. Type in the model of the access point in the box at the top of the screen and click the save icon. A message will appear confirming the AP has been successfully saved. The next step is to configure the 5 GHz radio plan. Do this by selecting the 5 GHz tab at the top of the window and repeat the previous steps but with transmit power set to 126. Click the save icon. A message will appear confirming the EP has successfully updated. Click OK. Right click once again of the access point and select default AP. This means whenever you place a new access point on the plan it will be of the same model and configuration. Part 6. Placing APs on plan and updating to view projected signal coverage quality. Now place APs onto the plan. Adjust locations as necessary. Once you are happy with this, click the red and blue refresh button located in the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. After the refresh button is clicked, the plan will be updated showing projected signal coverage of the current AP placement. For further details on signal, noise and throughput, hover over the selected areas on the screen. Part 7. Creating a report on the completed site. To do this, select the reports option at the bottom of the screen of the zone planner window. In the white box at the top left hand side of the screen, choose the desired report template and double click it. Once the report has been generated, go to the page listing the access points and check there are two profiles for each AP. 2.4 GHz and 5.4 GHz. Review the rest of the pages and to make sure you're happy with the report. Part 8. Exporting and saving the report of the completed site. 
To export this as a PDF to send to your customers, click the export button at the top left hand side of the report window. Make sure PDF is chosen and click OK. Then make sure the option for All Pages is selected and click OK. Export the file into your chosen destination.